So today we are going to discuss very wonderful master tune point. They called Sancha E, Sancha R, and Sancha S. Great master tune point. Suppose someone is suffering with a lower back pain, and you add these all three points. So we are discussing all the points found in the palm in the different different locations. So let's talk about these three points. If I'm making the fist like this, then I can see this depression here between the these two knuckles, then these two knuckles, then these two knuckles. I can see the depression here. So this is called Sancha E, Sancha R, Sancha San. One, two, three. I would like to tell you that how to insert the needle, then you will be able to understand. So when we want to treat these points, suppose I want to treat this point, Sancha E. I can take the longer needle and I will insert from this wave margin between the knuckle from here. So I will pump this area. Then I will insert the needle here. You can see this is the just starting of insertion. Then I will drag the needle inside. Better that I can take the tooth needle also. I can keep on dragging, dragging, dragging till here. You can see. I'm just not inserting the needle in the babe margin. My target is not babe margin only. My target from here till this whole long part. My target is this whole part between the second metacarpal bone and the third metacarpal bone. My target is this whole part. So this is called number one point. In the same way, I can insert the another point here. That is number two point. Then I will insert the second point here. That is called Sancha R. Sancha R. So this is the another needle. Now I am inserting the needle between the this knuckle and this knuckle here. I will pump the area and I will insert the needle here. See, I inserted the needle first, right? Now I will drag the needle till here. Whole bunch of needle, I will keep on dragging. You can see there's a needle number two. Now the third needle will be here. This is the most important needle. So this is called Sancha E R Sun. So Sancha E, Sancha R, Sancha Sun. So I will insert the third needle in the Sancha Sun. So take the full one chin needle or the two chin needle means one inch needle or the two inch needle and pump this area. Then insert the needle here. So these are the three needles, very wonderful needles. Suppose one patient is having limping in the leg, not able to walk, having lots of lower back pain, you insert the needle and tell them to run, he will run immediately after putting the needle. Just immediately after putting the needle, person will run. 
because many years back i have seen one acupuncturist from china he was doing the same when a person is coming with the lower back pain he was inserting the needle here and telling the person okay run then i i also got surprised that how we insert the needle and immediately we can tell the person run and i've seen the person not able to walk after putting these needles person able to run you can see the immediate effect in the lower back pain these needles are not only good for lower back pain but there are many other indication i am going to discuss one by one so suppose someone is suffering with the lower back pain so we have to use these three needle we can also combine lingu dawa all the needle on the opposite side right so lingu dawa and these three needle sancha e sancha ar sancha san this the combination is very wonderful so let's see all the three points one by one so this is the point number 1 it is called sancha e means y i the other name of this point is 3 gem 1 the next we will seeing the sancha r or 3 gem 2 and the third point will be sancha san or 3 gem 3 means these are the 3 gem 3 gem so come back here so if we look at the point number 1 that is called a02 or sancha e which is in between the knuckle of index and middle finger when we are inserting the needle we are inserting the needle here then we are dragging the needle as long as possible maybe initially you are not so confident so you can put the little needle you can take the half shun needle even you can start with a sujog needle but as you get the confidence then you can use one chun needle then after some time you can use two chun needle as well so these all the points sancha e sancha or sancha san are the very good for lower back pain sciatica pain anything which is happening in the lower part lower back pain menstrual pain heavy menstruation stomach pain but the best indication lower back pain sciatica pain pain of the lumbar 4 lumbar 5 s1 s2 s3 anything which is have, having connection with the lumbar and the sacral junction like there is a compression of the lumbar and sacral nerves even the person is suffering with the pain in the heel in the calf muscles we can treat with the with these points so the sancha e special indication of the sancha e if you remember earlier we have discussed one point here we have discussed one point here that what that was 22.03 it was very good for neck pain and the shoulder pain but right now we are using the same area but we are dragging the needle in the full length so this is the difference between previous point and this new point and if you look at the previous point i will show you here 22.03 or the upper white there are three white upper white middle white and the lower white So twenty two point zero three is the upper white is a very good point for the shoulder pain, back pain, neck pain. We can use this point of bilateral. We already have discussed this point. Also having very good indication for sciatica. Now if we are inserting the needle here and dragging in the full length, then this point will be coming and called sancha e. That is good for shoulder pain. but the main indication will be site lower back and the sciatica 
So coming back here. So if you want to get the shoulder pain, yes, you can use this. Neck pain, you can use this. If you want to regulate the lung chi, you can use this point. This is a very good point to regulate the lung chi. Ultimately, this is coming very near to the index finger, which is the finger of the large intestine. So this point is very good for regulating the lung chi. Lung is located in the upper body part and sancha is working for the upper body part. Mainly we are using this point for neck pain as well as sciatica pain and the lower back pain. Let's see the next point, sancha ar. This is the sancha ar, middle point. We already know the middle finger is having connection with the pericardium. The middle finger having connection with the heart indirectly because pericardium is the covering of heart. So sancha ar is the very good point for strengthening the heart. If you insert the point here. But we don't, we are just not targeting the babe margin. We are inserting the needle here and we are dragging in the full length. Maybe it's uh, till here. Okay, no problem. Till here. Till here, it's okay. No problem. So if you are pressing this area so in this way, if you are doing the treatment in this area, it is strengthening the lung chi. Now, if you are strengthening this area, it is strengthening the heart chi. Right? So, we are strengthening the lung chi as well as the heart chi. So, this is a very good point for strengthening the heart. And we know if we are strengthening the heart, knee pain will disappear. As per the master tool, if you want to treat the knee, you need to work on the heart. So this is a very good point. Just insert the one single needle and you can relieve the knee pain. But generally, we are using all the three points, Sancha E, Sancha or Sancha Sun. If the person is having lower back pain, sciatica pain, knee pain, we are using all the three points. So this is a very good point for the heart and the knee. And definitely good for lumbar pain, lumbar back pain, lower back pain, sciatica pain and one of the great point for sense organ. So the point coming here is a wonderful point for the sense organ. Even this point is very good for the point for the sense organ, all the five senses. If the person is having any sensory problems, we can use this second and the third number point. They are the very good point for the sensual problems. Okay, so now this was, we have discussed, this point is very good for heart, for palpitation, for strengthening the heart. So good for knee pain, right? Let's move to the third point and we can see here, this is called three gem two. Now we are moving to the three gem three. The third and the last point here, Sancha San. If I compare all the three points, this is the most important point, Sancha San. Today, I will discuss few indications and after a few days, even I, I might discuss many more indication of the Sancha San. First, you have to set in your mind that Sancha second and third number point is very good for all the sense organ problems like disease of all the five sense organ, right? We already know if we go in the palmer side, heart meridian is passing from here. So when we are inserting the needle here, it's a very good for heart. So it, we are using for the chest pressure, even the chest and the rib pain, we are using this part. This point is very good for the, again, neck pain and the leg pain because all the three points are very good for the leg pain, sciatica pain, lower back pain. So we ha I have written only one thing, but you can write all the problem happening with the legs, like the knee pain, heel pain, calf muscle pain, thigh pain, hamstring pain, lower back pain, lower back injury, Whatever the problem, you can use the, all the three points. 
the most important point is third one sanchasan or the three gem three so we have seen three gem one three gem two and three gem three right all the three points are one one of the great point for lower back pain so suppose today you are getting any patient today or tomorrow you are getting any patient suffering with the lower back pain you can try these points in this way like you put the lingu dava in the opposite side with all the three points so you can try these point lingu dava and all the three points drag the needle you can try this point and see the feedback you will see the patient is very much happy as soon as you insert the needle you will see the results just to make sure after inserting the needle tell the patient to move the affected part suppose someone is suffering with the knee pain so insert the needle and tell the patient to move the knee area at least like uh, move the knee area once in 2 minutes we are not telling the patient that do to to do the very vigorous movement very intensive movement no just move the little bit so that whatever energies is collecting on the affected area because of our needling we are needling the point so after our needling suppose we are targeting the knee and there are lots of great amount of energy collecting around the knee so when the person moving the knee can disperse the energy so at the last of like after the 30 minute or the 40 minute patient will see very great results right even after the single sitting so these were the combination of sancha e sancha sancha san sancha san one of the great point i would like to discuss few more thing about this sancha san so one once more i would like to tell you one thing whether the person is suffering with the neck pain or the thoracic pain or the lumbar pain or the sciatica pain the pain in spine in any part we can treat with the help of these three point combinations 1 2 and 3 three is m 1 3 gem 2 and 3 gem 3 let's discuss few more indication of the sancha san sancha san sancha san is the point found here right and we already know this is the dorsal side and the triple warmer meridian is passing from here that we know right triple warmer meridian passing from here the triple warmer meridian passing from here then triple warmer meridian traveling throughout the body and especially triple warmer is the main meridian having very deeper connectivity with our pituitary glands so you can see this from this area triple warmer meridian is passing te means triple energizer then triple warmer meridian passing through the arm reaching to the throat so this sanchasan is also very good point for the throat pain right it's a wonderful point for the throat pain we can see this is a triple warmer 16 passing from the throat this sanchasan is also very good for the ear pain because there is a triple warmer meridian passing around the ear so if anyone is having any types of the ear hearing problem we can use sancha san the last point here but the most important indication which i would like to focus that is floaters in the eyes floaters in the eyes when we are looking some object we are we are thinking oh, we are finding oh, something floating around 
that is called floaters. Floaters means whenever you see any object here and there, something floating around that actually is not floating outside, that floating inside your eyes, that is called floaters. So as soon as you, in, you are putting the Sanchasan, we can work on the floaters. So floaters is the incidence happening inside the eyes. We know this is the eye. If this is the eyes. So we know in the eye we, have, we are having lens. Whatever we are looking, anything is going, whatever we are seeing from the eyes, it's passing the anterior part of the eye. It also passes the posterior part of the eyes. Then finally that object is coming on the retina. So there's a posterior chamber. When there's a problem in the posterior chamber, then there's a floaters around the eyes. So as soon as we are putting sancha, sun or the A04 point, we can work on that. The triple verbal meridian having directly connectivity, but especially this point is having very deeper level of the connectivity. Even we can put all the three points. Because by putting this first point, we can improve the lung. By putting the second point, we can improve the heart. By putting the third point, we can improve the kidney. Lung, heart and kidney. So in that way, we can improve the whole body. Look at once again here. So if you want to treat the floaters, you have to treat the A04 point, but you cannot forget Davai. Davai is the special point. So Davai is here. Like I told you earlier, if we divide the whole body, this bone is doing the representation of the whole body. So Davai is upper body part. 22.04 and this lingu is lower body part. So Davai is the very good helping point if you want to read the floaters. But other than this, you can see there are two more points. So there's a few more points, the combination working very nicely for the floaters. So I would like to bring a focus on these two points written here. So look at this image, 77.17 found in the spleen meridian, we can correlate with the spleen nine, this is a very good point. This is one of the great point, spleen nine, 77.17. This point is having very great influence for the eyes. And one last point, I would like to bring a focus here, 77.28 or the kidney seven. So from the medial meridians, if we go to chin up, that is the location of kidney seven point. Kidney seven is the very good point for eyes. We already have discussed earlier. Kidney seven is the very good point for eyes because kidney seven is the mother point of eyes. And I have seen as soon as you in, are putting the needle on the kidney seven person feeling immediately better in the eyes. All the point will be opposite side. Suppose you want to read the right eyes, all the point will be on the left side. So in this way, spleen nine, kidney seven, and especially sancha, sun, and dabai. The four point combination is one of the great combination of floaters, right? Even we are going to discuss few more points for the floaters in the future. So here I discuss only four points. Number one, Sanchasan. Number two, Dabai. Number three, Kidney seven. And number four, Spleen nine. This is a four point combination. Is one of the very good combination for floaters. You can try these points, right? 
suppose you just want to work on the sore throat. So we already seen here the triple borrow meridian is the meridian passing from the throat. It is supplying the throat, it is crossing the throat and if someone is having sore throat, what we can do? We can just add one more point that is called lung tan. Lung tan is the very good point as per the TCM. Lung tan is the fire point. We already know the concept of TCM. As per the concept of TCM, if we see the lung, lung is the metal. So we know lung 11, lung 10, lung 9, lung 8 and lung 5. So lung 11 is the boot point. Lung 10 is the fire. Lung 9 is the earth. Lung 8 will be the metal and lung 5 will be the water. So here lung 10 is the fire point. When someone is suffering with the sore throat, so the meaning of sore throat, person is having some heat in the throat. So if we studied the lung 10, even we can take one more point that is lung 11, Either we can take only one point or both the points. So as per the master rule, if we are taking Sancha Sun A04 plus lung 10, or even we can add lung 11, set it all the points. We are setting only TCM point. In the master rule, there is no suggestion. So we can achieve the wonderful results. So look at here the location of lung 10. If you want to read the both eyes, you can choose the point alternately, one time on the right side, one time on the left side. Regarding the spleen 9, spleen 9, we are also using bilateral many times. Spleen 9 can be used bilateral. So look at the junction of black and white skin. We can see this is the junction of black and white skin. In the center, that is the location of lung tan. So we have to put the one needle here. Even we can do the acupressure here. Sometimes we find one vein here. If you see, you find the vein here, blue color vein. If you find the blue color vein, that is the also sign of heat. Heat in the lung, right? Have anyone seen the vein here? Bane. That also the sign of heat in the lung or heat in the stomach. Because the stomach meridian passing the chest. So we will see the one blue color vein here. Blue color vein here. So lung 10 located here. We have to put the lung 10 here. With the A04 point, then we can treat the sore throat. And if we just want to treat the sore throat, one point enough, lung 10 with the A04. But if someone is suffering with a common cold, common cold means running nose or the blocked nose, then we have to use Dawai because Dawai is the point of the upper body. So we can use two point, but we have to put the needle here and drag it little. And another point we can put here. Even I've seen the very good results of the mastering point. If you just do the acupressure, even you will achieve the very good results. It's not mandatory for doing acupuncture only. You can do the acupressure also, right? So we can use two points, one here and one here. The very good point for the common cold and the headache. 
Sometimes common cold and headache are associated. 